What is going on guys, it's Shadow. Today I'll be talking about Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom, the trailer, what I think about it, and more. So let's get right into this. But first, let me show you the trailer if you haven't seen it. Okay, so I like what they did with the music. They chose the Goo Lagoon music from the original. It gives it more of like a chill and relaxed feel to it. I also like what they did with the characters. They did the models correctly. I like those. It, but SpongeBob's arms are just too bendy. It's not really like that. Actually, I take that back. They, they are kind of bendy in like seasons 5 through 9 or 10. But this is, like, something from Season 2. This is a 2003 game. What I mean by something from Season 2 is that in the original, SpongeBob's um skin is, like, a pale yellow, which is how it was in the Season 2 episodes. Early Season 2 episodes. But I don't really mind that they made the models look like something from early Season 9 or Season 5. But I've been stuck on the models for a little bit now, so let's move on to the Chum Bucket Lab. Okay, so I like how the characters look here, but I already mentioned bendy arms of Spongebob. And when Patrick's stepping on Plankton, it doesn't really look like he's like stepping on him. It looks like Plankton's like laying down. There isn't really much to say about this image other than it's a little too dark in the Chum Bucket. But I guess that's to make it a little more menacing considering it's the final boss and also this is the cutscene right after you defeat robo spongebob actually there is one more thing to say about squidward's feet um yeah squidward's feet it's like it's like flat let me show you an image of squidward's actual feet so his feet here actually extend like up other than like in rehydrated they're like flat which is, I guess that's okay. Nobody's gonna notice that anyway. Unless you're super observant, of course. It looks the same as how Pax East did it. Um, realistic grass and everything. I like the realistic grass. Um, even though it's not really like that in the show. But, I still like it. It's a new look. Also, another thing about this is that under the sand, it's like magenta. Some type of, like, magenta color. Which is an also a new look. I like that too. Also, the lighting is beautiful. I love it. And the shadowing is cool. The only thing that they need to fix is SpongeBob's skin, making it pale. SpongeBob's roll doesn't look like that. I just paused that at the wrong time. But uh, the underwear is in bubbles, and the socks are also in bubbles, just like how we saw in Gamescom and PAX East. I don't think the shinies are only going to be red. I think they're going to be many different colors. But if they are going to be only red, I think that's not going to be a good idea as you see the cruise bubble is in the front um you're actually able to see it now i don't know if this is going to be a helpful change but it's probably not as you can see here there are lines surrounding the cruise bubble white lines and the cup over at the left still looks the same oh and also there are bubbles um behind the cruise bubble I hope they add in a, a little more stuff into the ocean because it looks a little too plain, but I think that's the only part that has a plain ocean since there's something over to the right. Also, the blue tiki's have glowing eyes. Okay, so this is Dutchman's graveyard. They use metal for the platforms and also they use green goo, which makes it seem like an actual Dutchman level. I also like how they still kept the wood for the boat. 
I like how they changed Patrick's jump a little bit. It's like a little more smooth. And also Crackhead Puff is here. I like how they use shadow for the sand. And also there are new blue trees instead of the orange and red trees that we saw in the original Battle for Bikini Bottom. I like how they added like lines onto Patrick, Spongebob, and Sandy's arms. Like when you're falling or some type of animation. And also like how they use realistic fire. I like how the ice slowly turns into ice and takes up all the water. I think they should change the timer into like a Spongebob type font. Because it doesn't really look like that, but that's fine, I guess. And also next to the checkpoint, the kid um, from the show is there. He's supposed to be teal, but they changed him to purple. But that's okay, since there's really no continuity in the show. The houses here look a little more unnatural, but it's probably just me. Since it might be because of all the metal on the houses. And by the way, I'll, I will be doing a playthrough on Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I don't know why, but this level here looks like something you'd see in Plankton's Robotic Revenge. And also, the Dutchman is right there, but I think they should make him a little more transparent since he's a ghost. Okay, so I think what makes this level unnatural is all the bolts and metal that you could see. But it's fine, I guess. I think it's just unnatural since um, it doesn't really fit with the environment that it's set in. Okay, so this is a thing i never even seen in the original Battle for Bikini Bottom. Yellow flowers. It's a nice touch, but it's not really something you'd see in Sandy's level. Also, the truck with the manure in it. The colors changed. For the box, it's green and blue. And the, instead of the red, it's blue. Also, I hope it's not just going to be clouds that are covering the bottom. I hope you could actually see Texas at the bottom too. Like you are able to in the original. Tracks still look the same too. Also with the Texas symbols, I believe the circles are to indicate if you're able to um, hang on to those. Also with Robopat, they gave him more of like a season 8 type look. Which I guess is a pretty good design. Also the red circles are used to indicate where the goo is going to land. The fish here aren't really shown too much, but um, I guess you're not really going to pay attention to them anyway because you have to focus on the battle. And Robo Sandy looks a little weird there, um, but I guess it's just a part of the robotic design. Notice the strong Spongebob meme from the Fry Cook games in the back. Also, the realistic fish head here has a, has a headset and teeth. Not really much change with the King Jellyfish boss fight other than the colors being a little less saturated than what we saw in Gamescom and PAX East. And here's the boss fight we've all been waiting for. Not really, because this was probably the most boring boss fight. Anyways, they have a red circle to indicate um, that you're able to lasso the Flying Dutchman, and they gave him green fire. And as I was saying earlier, I want them to make him transparent, but... If they don't, then that's alright with me anyway. I love what they did with Robo Spongebob. Because there's much more bolts on him and everything. And it looks like he has like more metallic parts on him. And also they made his eyes blue because inside I believe it's going to be blue. Also you could see Robo Plankton at the top right. And they gave Robo Spongebob and Plankton a uh, realistic fire at the bottom. Which is a nice touch. The only thing wrong with Robo Spongebob is where are the eyelashes and where are the red dots on Spongebob's cheeks. People were complaining about uh, the Robo Spongebob boss fight being too dark, but it makes it seem a little more scary if you make it dark. And also they put green goo on the walls. I don't know what that's for, but it's pretty cool. So they gave Robo Squidward a crusty crab hat and he looks much more darker. They also gave him like a plankton eyebrow, which is a much more better design than what they used for the concept art of Robo Squidward in the original BFBB. I also noticed how you're able to um, fight Robo Squidward in co-op and it's probably co-op only. I only think that because whoever's playing as Spongebob says guest on it. And now we move on to the multiplayer game mode. 
I think it's only going to be enemy hitting and waves and all that instead of how it is in single player where you are able to um, do a bunch more things. So, yeah, I think that's how they're going to do it, just like how they did it in the movie game. Also, I think it would be cool if they did whoever collects the most shinies um, gets more points if they use points as their rewards. So for every island, um, the environment changes. So here you can see it's like some type of candy land, which is pretty cool. And also um, for Patrick Slam, uh, there's stars that come out, which is also a pretty nice but little touch. Also, the robots that are shaped like a ball have a dent in it. And you're able to play a Squidward and he uses a clarinet as an attack. So I think Robo Squidward will be in every round, and I don't know why they chose Robo Plankton instead of Plankton, but it's a little more unique to use Robo Plankton anyway. And also I like how they put in some stuff into the ocean here. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. This video took me three days to make, so I hope you liked it. Please subscribe, like, support the channel, and yeah. Are you ready, kids?